Well, welcome folks. Uh, today we're going to be looking at a lab setup and it's for the solar panel tilt lab but we've added a kind of a twist. See what I did there? Anyway, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be also adding not only the tilt of the angle of the panels but also going to introduce different colors of light and see if we can enhance uh, the, uh, the, the voltage output. So let's go ahead and get started. If you take a look at the screen I have the Pasco uh, Spark Labs uh, up and it's called Spark View and there are some some categories we need to take a look at because you're gonna have to get that particular lab from the, the uh, Spark View so that you can uh, do the setup and then of course collect data. Uh, first thing you're going to uh, be able to should be able to do is uh, click on experiments then it has a variety of different experiments um, on the, the iPad that you can use. And you can see we don't have anything about tilt angle. So we're going to go back <clears throat> and then you're going to click on uh, saved. And if you can see a solar tilt angle and you can click on that and then press open. Then as it loads, uh, you can uh, start gathering some of your materials. We're going to be using the Horizons Renewable Energy Kit. It's kind of a relatively large box, and it's a, a white cardboard box. It's in the back room, and uh, there's about 15 of them. You've seen them before. Uh, it's the thing that has not only the solar panels, but also the wind turbines, and also a variety of other things just for uh, renewable energy uh, labs. So I go back there while this is loading. Now that we've got it loaded, <clears throat> you can see that as you scroll through on the bottom, right hand corner uh, you answer a few questions and it, it talks a little about you should probably ought to read the background see what the tilt angle is all about and and there's the materials and I want you to uh, in particular look at the lower right hand corner so you can actually see uh, the setup you have a three fingered clamp you have the uh, solar panel you also have uh, the protractor that's taped it onto the back of the ring stand that's really important you can find those also in the back room um, in a Tupperware container that has just miscellaneous things in it. You'll see that the, the, the protractors are kind of stuffed in there. And then, of course, you'll need uh, a lamp. You'll need the voltage sensor and the patch cords. Now, as far as the voltage sensor is concerned, uh, you can just use the uh, chemistry uh, sensors. Just their general chemistry sensors. Those work really well for that as well. You may have to see uh, Mr. Dyer for those. And then um, there is, again, another nice uh, picture of the setup that you have there. And it goes through all the steps, step by step by step. It shows you how to tilt the angles and everything else. It's a really helpful a piece of equipment that you, that you need. And, of course, um, you can get it all on the iPad. And then, as you can see here, you can see uh, as you can do the tilt angle, tilt, tilt angle and the voltage. Now, this is where it becomes a little tricky because I've added this part. Um, in the back room again, there is a white uh, tub of different kinds of lights. Green, red, blue, there might even be yellow, but it's also there are L uh, excuse me, uh, LEDs, there's uh, fluorescence and incandescence. Those are testing three different kinds of white light and they're quite a bit different and you'll generate different data from that. So I would suggest that uh, like for instance, when you do the tilt angle of 90, you're doing about five different times. It doesn't take very long to collect the data. You'll do, let's say, the incandescent light bulb, <clears throat> the white fluorescent, the LED, and then the blue light, the red light, and then you'll uh, um, upload them to uh, the Google Classroom. If you go to the Google Classroom, there's a form there that you can uh, enter the data. It says uh, data, uh, data collection. And then uh, once you got done with that, you just you know, collect the data, hit the green button, and you can see the different kinds of, of energy output that not only the tilt angle has, but also the color of the light. You could kind of try to fi uh, figure out or find out which one is the maximum amount of tilt for uh, our experiment. And then also, more importantly, is how energetic each of the colors of light are. And then you just go through it. Also on the Google Classroom, there's a Google Doc. Uh, when you click on it, it's also data analysis. So they're two different kinds. So make sure, at, they're in the same form, but that they're two different parts of the form. 
So that's how you do that. Now let's let's go back to the very beginning. How do you actually load a file? What what, what can you do? Let's say uh, we have a save work. Now obviously the solar tilt angles there, but let's say I want to do something else on solar angles, like maybe the effect of shade or the effect of heat, something like that. So I'd like you to go back to our website because what I've done is taken the, the all of the uh, all of the labs that uh, Pasco has, uh, for us anyway, and then download them onto our website. And in particular, you want to click on the download section. So if you can see all the subheadings or the pull down menus, one of them is downloads. I've clicked on it already. And then you're going to scroll down. All right, there's some prompts and it should be coming up. It says Pasco Labs. There they are. Now, uh, you can see that they, they have solar tilt angles right there, but I've, since I've already downloaded it, what I want to do is I want to just want to do the solar uh, heat. Um, in other words, what happens if the solar panels get too hot? And, and does it really impact their, impact their effectiveness? Now, what it is, it's going to take a few, a few seconds to do that, so we'll wait for it to load. Okay, once it is loaded, and I've chosen the, there we go, it says the effect of heat on solar panels. So what I want to do is I want to download it directly into SparkView. So it says open in, and then open in SparkView. There's where I want to do that. I click on it once, and now what it's going to do is send it, I hope, directly right to SparkView. Okay, as you see, you can see it's uh, updating or upgrading the SparkView lab. And uh, there it is. Now, we're not done yet. You're going to click on where it says, well, actually it says share network. It, it wants to share that file. So I'm going to uh, press uh, save file as. And we're going to give it the name. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it in the saved work file. And then I turn off the keyboard, press OK. And now it's dutifully, I hope, sending it right down to um, Pasco, uh, or SparkView, I mean. And then it's going to, I'm going to click on the home button so that we can take a look at it. So we go under saved work, and there it is. Solar effect on heat panels, make sure it works. And there you have it. So what you need to do is, first of all, um, go to get the iPads out, make sure you have the actual lab uh, in uh, the iPad. If it's not, download it, get it uh, set up. As you're doing that, have some of your partners grab the box that says Horizons Renewable Labs. Get that cardboard box out of the back room, make sure you have your lights. Also get the um, get the air link too, as well as the uh, the uh, uh, general chemistry sensor. Like, like I said, I think Mr. Dyer has those. Just get one per team and then make sure you have the, all the correct uh, um, wires. All right. So we hope to uh, see you in the lab.